In spite of a myriad of external pressures, St. Lucia's economy is on the rebound and even shows tangible signs of a positive growth trajectory. The Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, ECLAC, according to its annual report, has projected St. Lucia's GDP will grow by 8% in 2022. ECLAC's Economic Survey of Latin America and the Caribbean 2022 registers St. Lucia as the best performing economy among Barbados and member states of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union. Evidence of the Peer Administration's prudential fiscal policies and overall management of the local economy since assuming office in 2021. Mr. Speaker, following the pandemic-induced historic downturn in 2020, the domestic economy continued to be influenced by developments in the global economy. Exhibiting signs in 2021 of a steady path towards recovery amidst the persistent adverse effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. The pace of rebound was, was however dampened by the adverse effects of Hurricane Elsa. Preliminary estimates suggest that real GDP growth increased by 12.2% in 2021, rebounding from the sharp contraction of 24.4% in 2020. Mr. Speaker, it should be noted that despite this high growth rate, the value of real GDP in 2021 was still 15% below that of 2019. This increase in economic activity was because of growth in the tourism and construction sectors, with positive spill-off effects on other sectors that were hard hit by the pandemic, such as retail and wholesale trade, manufacturing and transport. The Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture whose membership comprises dozens of private sector companies that collectively employs thousands of St. Lucians, also reviewed the first quarter performance of its membership for 2022. The Chamber's survey provides more evidence of increased commercial activity and encouraging job numbers. 59% of the people, of the people who are interviewed, they said they made more money in January to March this year than they made in January to March last year, when compared to the same period last year. 83% of them returned, retained or added more jobs. 59% of them forecast an increased revenue from April to June. And 71% of the businesses interviewed forecast increased profitabil profitability over the next 12 months. So in spite of the issues, there is robust growth in the economy and there is robust confidence in the economy as illustrated by a survey by the Chamber of Commerce. So I want to thank you. And I noticed the collaboration between tourism and other sectors. And I'm sure this, that collaboration has caused us to experience, even if there are serious, serious issues, there are issues of. According to Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Bran Luizzi, quote, business confidence appears to be on the rise with 66% of respondents forecasting increased turnover over the next 12 months while 71% of respondents forecast an increase in business profitability over the same period, while only 29% report worsened cash flow relative to the previous quarter. End of quote. The Chamber survey also forecasts increased profitability and sales for the second quarter period of April to June, in spite of external pressures, including inflation, and supply chain issues, higher energy and shipping costs due to increased crude oil prices, which financial experts blame on the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Moreover, recent labor force data from the Central Statistical Office has concluded the island's unemployment rate during the first quarter of 2022 stood at 16.1%. Before 2019, 
and the ensuing economic impact of the global COVID-19 pandemic, first quarter unemployment levels has remained above 20% for more than six years. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.